Hey there, Elon kids! Welcome back to another amazing adventure! Today's story is called Peppa Pig, Baby Alexander. Today, Peppa and George's cousins are coming to visit. Wah! Wah! Baby Alexander makes a lot of noise. Hello, Peppa! Hello, George. Cousin Chloe shouts over her brother's crying. Hello, baby Alexander, says Peppa smiling. He can't talk, Peppa, replies Chloe. So how do you know what he wants? Asks Peppa. We guess, replies Uncle Pig, and I'm guessing he's hungry. Why don't you feed him, Peppa, suggests Auntie Pig. Here you are, Peppa says, holding out the spoon. But baby Alexander turns his head away. Pretend the spoon is an airplane, says Auntie Pig. Here comes the airplane, cries Peppa. Whirr! Hooray! Baby Alexander has swallowed a mouthful. At bath time, Peppa says, Can you say dinosaur? Cuckoo, says baby Alexander. He still can't talk, Peppa, says cousin Chloe. He will soon, replies Peppa. Then you'll know what he wants. Later, they take baby Alexander out in his buggy. This is the sky, says Peppa. Can you say sky? Cuckoo, says baby Alexander. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? Continues Peppa. Rain is good for making muddy puddles, Peppa explains. I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles, says baby Alexander. Ooh, everyone gasps. Alexander has said his first word, exclaims Auntie Pig. Puddles. Hooray, puddles. Everyone shouts together, and I taught him to say it, says Peppa proudly. Puddles, says baby Alexander. Ha, 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 what a clever baby. Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called George and the Noisy Baby. Peppa and George's family are having a sleepover at Cousin Chloe's house. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking forward to an early night. They've had a long journey. Hello, cries Cousin Chloe. Hello, shouts Auntie Pig. Hello, booms Uncle Pig. Everyone makes a lot of noise in Cousin Chloe's house. They are a very noisy family. First, we'll put baby Alexander to bed, says Auntie Pig. This is his bedroom. Auntie Pig turns up baby Alexander's musical mobile. Alexander likes noise, she explains. It sends him to sleep. Peppa and George are staying in Cousin Chloe's bedroom. They are very excited. Night, night, <sniffs> snorts Peppa. Soon everyone is tucked up in their beds, asleep. Wah! Baby Alexander is awake. Everyone is awake. Uncle Pig tries vacuuming. Vroom, vroom. Auntie Pig tries playing the trumpet. Noise is the best way to get baby Alexander to sleep, she says. Daddy Pig has a quieter idea to try. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house, he says. That always sent him to sleep. Daddy Pig pushes baby Alexander in his pram. He only has to go around the house 50 times. Good! He puffs at last. Baby Alexander is asleep. 
Daddy Pig and Baby Alexander are ready to come inside. Auntie Pig switches the alarm back on. George, cries Daddy Pig, what are you doing up? <sighs> Yawns George. Noisy, snuffle, snuffle. Daddy Pig takes George and Baby Alexander back up to bed. He is about to turn the lights off when... Uh-oh, gasps George. Baby Alexander is awake again. It is very noisy. Daddy Pig decides to drive Baby Alexander around in the car. Don't forget to turn off the alarm, shouts Auntie Pig. Daddy Pig forgets to turn off the alarm. The noisy house wakes everyone up. Mrs. Rabbit zooms across in her rescue helicopter. Is everyone all right down there? Yells Mrs. Rabbit. Yes, thank you, bellows Uncle Pig. The alarm has worked. Baby Alexander is fast asleep and it's all down to my noisy daddy, giggles Peppa. Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig and the Family Reunion. Peppa and George are very excited. Today, the pig family is having a reunion. Everyone in the family will be there. You've brought pie, says Peppa. I love pie, mmm, says George. Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig unpack the car. They have brought a lot of stuff for the baby. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig unload a high chair, some baby toys, a stroller, and even a bathtub. Papa likes baby Alexander. Would you like to help feed the baby? Asks Auntie Pig. Oh, yes, says Peppa. She tries to feed baby Alexander. He turns away. Peppa tries again. The baby won't open his mouth. Try playing airplane, says Auntie Pig. She shows Peppa how to fly the spoon into baby Alexander's mouth. It works. Can you say airplane? Asks Peppa. Baby Alexander can't talk yet. Peppa wants to teach baby Alexander to talk. Can you say dinosaur? Gaga, says baby Alexander. Later that night, it's time to put baby Alexander to bed. But he doesn't sleep for long. What's that noise? asks Peppa. Baby Alexander is awake. Wah, wah. No, what's that other noise? That's the vacuum cleaner, says Chloe. Why are you vacuuming at night? asks Daddy Pig. And why is Auntie Pig playing a trumpet? Loud noises are the best way to get baby Alexander to sleep, shouts Uncle Pig. We are a very noisy family. It is a very noisy night. After breakfast, the next morning, everyone goes for a walk. Peppa tries to teach baby Alexander a new word. Look, a bird, says Peppa. Cuckoo, says baby Alexander. Sky, says Peppa. Gaga, says baby Alexander. Then it's time for the family reunion lunch. They're having Peppa's favorite, spaghetti. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig love spaghetti too. Both of them ask for more. For dessert, everyone has a piece of Granny Pig's pie. Yum, Peppa says to baby Alexander. Goo goo, says baby Alexander. Chloe has brought her puppet theater and she and Peppa and George put on a puppet show. They make a Chloe puppet, a Peppa puppet, and a dinosaur puppet for George. 
Everyone claps after the puppet show. Well, almost everyone. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. Peppa and Chloe go outside to play before the reunion is over. Baby Alexander likes to watch them play in the mud. Look, Baby Alexander, says Peppa. We're jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.